G'day guys, I've got a bit of a mission on this week. Uh, we're out at the family beach house uh, for the week and I'm going to upgrade the power system here. When we bought this place six years ago it had no electric lights or power whatsoever. Uh, the previous owners used candles for lights, a hand powered washing machine and an old gas powered fridge which actually made our food warmer than room temperature. I was on an extremely tight budget so I threw together a basic power system using second hand half life batteries from a trawler and a cheap 2.5 kilowatt inverter to run a refrigerator, basic appliances and lights. I've improved the system over the years as I could afford it, added some solar panels on the roof and replaced the old batteries with more half-life trawler batteries. Uh, all the batteries are now pretty tired and the inverter is playing up, popping capacitors and fuses. So I'm now having to frequently run the generator to charge the batteries, uh, which isn't ideal. The good folks at EcoFlow have sent me a new 5 kilowatt hour lithium battery and power hub which has a built in pure sine wave inverter and 3 MPPT DC inputs. So I'll rip out the old system here, um, lay a concrete base to stop the moisture rising and I'll make an enclosure here and install the new system. So let's get into it. Right, that's the cabinet done. Um, now I can start installing the system. They give you this template here and it tells you where to put the holes. So we'll mark those out and um, screw it to the wall there. That's one battery plugged in, so you can actually have two more there. So you can have a, up to 15 kilowatt hours of batteries there. And this one is AC in, so if you want to feed it power from a generator or from the mains, you plug it into there. And these are the DC inputs, so the solar panels or wind turbine or hydro turbine. Plug your DC inputs into there. Alright, we have power. 29%. And that's going, so you can turn the AC on and off there, and the DC side. Uh, that's just connected to my panels on the roof. Okay, it's registered that as charging. Right, I've got four 300 watt solar panels feeding into one of the inputs, uh, so that's 1200 watts max. There's three DC inputs all up, maximum of 1600 watts per input. And you can also charge it with a generator or mains uh, up to 3000 watts AC. So you can pump a fair amount of power into it. Alright, I'll connect the control panel, which will go in the house. Wire this cable here. There's my side. Right, what do we got here? It's a nice bright screen. There's the three DC inputs and the AC on the right. Um, shows the volts and amps coming in. And what else have we got? So there's the outputs. Um, that's all working well. That's all house wiring done, and 
the AC out is on. CAN bus cable is connected between there and there. And we're getting power to the house, so I can start switching the fuses on now. Two, three. I don't really have any DC loads at the moment. I don't really need that side just yet, but um, it does have a DC side there, so you can connect uh, different loads there, either 12 or 24 volts. So that's there if I need it later on. So I've got some wire mesh on the vent holes there and a fine insect mesh so that no bugs get in here because I have actually seen bugs short out an inverter when they got inside it and it was like a $500 inverter so I'll block up any part that bugs can get through with my old system I had it so a PLC was um, monitoring the state of charge of the batteries and um, when the batteries were fully charged it would uh, divert the excess power from the solar panels into my hot water cylinder so that you know you're not wasting any power from the solar panels and it actually worked quite well like uh, on a sunny day you'd end up with a, a fully charged battery and uh, 180 litres of hot water in your cylinder whereas with this system there's no real outlet to do that so I'll test this port here and see if I can get a uh, reading from the battery that same 52.9 I'll measure that again uh, when the battery is full and see if the actual voltage has gone up. So the battery is at 64% now, it's been charging for a few hours. We'll test that voltage again. 54.1, so that, that is enough of a range to get a good reading off the battery I think. It looks like I can definitely rig up some sort of uh, dump into the hot water cylinder. So all I'd have to do is take two leads off those terminals, feed it into the analog PLC, set the range so that when the battery's like probably around about 70-80% the PLC will dump from the AC side of the power hub uh, via a relay in like five minute bursts so that uh, the battery will stay in the top range of charge and any excess power will just go straight to the hot water cylinder. So yeah I'll do that later on. That's good to know I can tap into it without too much trouble. That's all working really well. It's charging nicely. Those fans are cranking. We're getting about one kilowatt of uh, solar into there now. Right, we've had it running for about a week now and it's working very well. And we've found the inverter has so much more power than the old system. We're able to, to use the kettle now without shutting the inverter down and the toaster and coffee machine before we used to have to use this gas to boil our water but now we can use the kettle and we can even run the microwave which we've never really been able to do before on the old system so it's a massive improvement and the fridge is running 24 7 now whereas before it, it was shutting off uh, in the evening and it was sort of warm again by the next morning so yep huge improvement it's Much great better. to run the vacuum, boil the jug, do the washing, yep. all the things that I used to shut the inverter down with all the time. Yeah. It's a huge it's, improvement. It's definitely mm. a lot better than it was, eh? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Just vacuuming for more than 20 minutes. Yeah. It's amazing. It's the little things, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so that's the EcoFlow power hub and 5 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, it's a brilliant system. If anyone's interested in getting one of these, I'll leave a link in the description below and uh, go along to EcoFlow and check it out. Thanks for watching guys, catch you next time.
Martin! <laughs>